Welcome everybody to Citizens of the Stars, our weekly look at the amazing content creations made by you, the Star Citizen community. Now I'm your host for this week, Community Manager Jared Huckabee. Now, the Star Citizen community is an essential touchstone of our development. And to start things off this week, we're gonna check in with Tyler Nolan and this week's Citizen Spotlight. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's installment of Citizen Spotlight, where we feature amazing content creators within the Star Citizen universe. Now this week's guest you're probably already familiar with as we've featured his content before within our top five and our newsletter. So without delay, join me in welcoming Mr. Hasgaha. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Now tell us a little bit about what you do within the Star Citizen community. Uh, I do a little bit of everything, but I'm probably best known for taking lots and lots of screenshots. Uh, but I also do videos and um, a few other things here and there. Now, a lot of players take screenshots and videos, but what makes your work stand out? I don't know, <laughs> probably because I take so many of them. Um, no, the, yeah, there are lots of people taking great screenshots. Uh, I try to keep mine as true to the game as possible, but I tweak them ever so slightly trying to make them pop. I try to make them interesting to both uh, longtime backers and people who aren't familiar with the game. Um, try to show stuff that maybe longtime backers haven't seen before or show it in a different way, just try to make it interesting, uh, things like that. Do you have any advice for other players looking to make their own screenshots and videos? Uh, you gotta take a lot of them. Um, you don't have to have the most powerful gaming rig on the planet. Mine, mine is actually five or six years old now. Um, you just need a, a knack for taking them, an, an eye. Um, I'm a graphic designer, so I, I have all that schooling and composition and framing and all that kind of stuff. But you just, same with photography learning, you have to just take pictures, take lots of pictures. It doesn't matter if they're bad, just keep taking pictures. Eventually you'll kind of get it. That's some really great advice. Thanks so much for stopping by and answering some questions for me. Thank you. With that, I'm Tyler Nolan, and here's what's coming up this week in Star Citizen. Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Quantum Questions, where we put a developer in the hot seat to answer as many questions as they can in just under two minutes. Joining us this time is none other than the VP of Publishing and Studio Director for Austin, John Erskine. John, how are you doing? I'm great. Fantastic. Now, how well do you think you're going to do today? I think I'll do pretty good. I hear the competition's tough, but I think yeah. I'll do pretty good. You're going up against Brian Chambers, I believe, with 16 answers. I heard he set the bar pretty high. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started. Two minutes on the clock, starting now. What is your name and what do you do at CIG? I'm John Erskine. I'm a head of publishing for the company. And how long have you been in the game industry? Since 1998. Will we have support for languages other than English? Yes, we will. Tell us one thing you were excited about in regards to Spectrum that people don't know about yet. Hmm, good question. At GDC, our team had a meeting at Twitch HQ to meet with some of their folks and see their roadmap, uh, development roadmap for the rest of the year. And we had some really cool conversations with them to talk about how we could integrate Twitch and Spectrum in some pretty cool ways. I think it's going to be exciting. That's very exciting. Now, what does the eggplant emoji mean to you? Ooh, pass. <laughs> what is your favorite ship? The M50. Will publishing ever expand outside of the ATX office? Yes, and in fact today we have publishing in uh, Austin, Manchester, and Montreal already, and we'll expand even further than that in the future. Okay, now what's something you're especially excited about on the platform roadmap? There's a lot of things, but the new launcher and patcher that we've been developing, it's been in development for quite a while is going to be pretty cool. It'll make it easier to download and patch the game and uh, with the new launcher we'll be able to integrate Spectrum and add even cooler functionality there. All right, and how strategic is Spectrum to the overall platform and publishing operations for CIG? It's super strategic. Uh, you probably saw some of the videos where we talked about it, but initially we envisioned it as a chat platform and a communication platform and now we're really envisioning it as your connection to the game whether you're in the game or out of the game or at work or on your phone or whatever. So strategically, its importance is major. 
All right, and in your opinion, on the publishing and DevOps side of things, what are you most looking forward to that is currently being worked on? Hmm, probably stuff that nobody else cares about, but some cool stuff on the logging and tools development and side. And we're done, we're out of time. Oh. Uh, thank okay, you very good. much, John, for taking the time to come out and do this with us. You bet. Well, that makes eight questions for John Erskine, which doesn't quite put him in the top spot. Make sure to tune in next week to see if Brian Chambers will finally be dethroned as the quantum champion. Hey everybody, Ben Lesnick here. It's time for your top five and MVP. Five, 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 five. Top five. Number five goes to Bob Wire 71 for his photos of the PAX East Bar Citizen. Great job, Bob Wire. You really captured the action. Number four goes to my good friend Chris Reed, who started the Wing Commander community with me way, way back when. Um, it's hard to believe, but he just had a baby. So congratulations to Chris and his wife Lacey on the birth of Juliana. And number three goes to Trad Team, a group of French-speaking citizens who translate all sorts of Star Citizen content into French. Most recently, they adapted the Hurricane brochure from our last concept sale. Check it out at their website. Number two goes to Dr. Oversteer for his amazing homemade cockpit. I've always wanted to do something like this. I am green with envy. And no wonder they call you Oversteer. You uh, have quite a steering wheel in the center there. And the MVP goes to Alex S189, as well as his uh, co-conspirators Panda and Radlock, who put together an amazing Merlin trailer. Congratulations, you're our MVP. Hello everyone, Alexis here and it's time once again for Subconscious. And since I'm such a nice person, I'm going to let everybody watch just this once. When I say jump, you say point. Jump! I'm going to assume that you said it. Anyway, the March 2017 issue of Jump Point, the exclusive digital magazine for subscribers, was released last week. This issue includes a look at the hurricane, an interview about the AI work happening at Foundry 42 right now, and plenty of new lore. Check it out. Are you down and out over wanting to ask a Star Citizen developer a question? Well, here's a quantum of solace. You can post and vote to the Quantum Questions thread on Spectrum for a chance to have your inquiry included in an upcoming Citizens of the Stars. Be sure to ask some short ones because somebody has to beat Brian Chambers. We'll end this week with The Vault. Last week we shared some of the in-progress update to the Aurora Starter. It's looking, as they say a few universes over, downright shiny. This week you can look forward to some art from what we're calling the Truck Stop, so stay tuned. That's it for Subconscious this week. Thank you for all of your support. If you aren't a subscriber and would like to be, you can learn more here. This has been Alexis, and I will see you in the den. Well, that's this week's show. A special thanks to John Erskine, Mr. Hashgaha, and all the Star Citizen community members who take their time to share their work with us. For Citizens of the Stars, I'm Jared Huckabee, and we'll see you in the verse. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon. I'll go around. <laughs>